What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and today I wanna to answer the question of how to round a number to two decimal places in Python. In fact, I actually wanna show you about four different methods that you can use to round a number to two decimal places. So let's start talking about method number one. So one of the ways to round our variable here to two decimal places is by simply using the built-in function called round. So that's our first method is essentially to say, I'm gonna say print and I'm gonna just go round. And then, um, and now here's the thing. So round, if I pass this variable, um, which you know we want to round to two decimal places, if I pass it in by itself, just like this, and I run um, our program, you get 34. And now why is that? Well, if you don't pass any, like the number of, of the number of decimal places that you want to go to, it's just gonna round it up to the nearest whole number, which is why we got 34, because we have dot six, which will round it up. Now, um, a caveat here, I have made a previous video on how to round floats uh, in Python, because there are some things you need to watch out for so right, you can go ahead and check that out um, to learn a little bit more but this is another way this is kind of more this video is more about the specific ways and the different ways that you can round numbers um, and the different techniques and stuff that you can use so now right here the round function its second argument in is the number of div digits that you want and so what we want is we want the you know to round it to two decimal places and so if I put in two it should go and we should get 33.64 which makes sense because we have dot six four four nine which which it's basically going to caveat of this. And when it says, hey, does that round up? Obviously, no. So, because it has to be five or above. Now, if I change this to a five, oops, five, and I round up again, you see that we get uh, 33.65. So just like that, we see that it's rounding and it's only printing out two decimal places. So now I wanna show you two different methods that this is probably the most common things that people might use, but what happens if you want to round um, round your number and when you print it out in a string, how do you round that? I mean, you could do something like this or we can check out the next two methods. All right, so this next method talks about, let's say we have our number and now we wanna put it into a string, but we only wanna format it so that it you know only shows two decimal places so we want to round it within our string how do we do this well um the old way of doing this i and i call this the old way you can still do it now and it's perfectly fine but if i have a value um, and i'm just going to say rounded string is equal to um the old way you do it would be like format you would use the format function where you could take your string and i'm gonna or your value take num and then I'm gonna say, um, this is gonna be dot, and this is the format you put in, dot to F, which means give me two floating points. So if I run this, what's going to happen is I'm gonna say print out, um, oops, got print, and then rounded string. And I also wanna print out its type to show you what it is. So if I run this, what you'll see is I get 35 or 33.5 and 30 or 33.65 and 33.65. Now the difference here is if I run, um, if I do this type of this guy. So our first method, right? I run this. What you're going to see is that the first method gives us a floating point, which is what we expect, right? Because when we put this number in here, this is a floating point number. And so when we do the round function, it's just going to return out a number because that's mostly what it's doing. The format function is, however, formatting the number, but putting it in the format of a string. So it's going to say, hey, yeah, we're only going to do two decimal places. And so just like that, um, we get a, now it's a string that we can use to put into an additional string or do anything else that we want to with. Um, whereas if we were trying to combine our first method with another string, you might run into some issues um, without converting it. So let's start talking about the newer, probably I would consider the more, uh, the newer way of doing the format string. Um, which is using F strings. All right, so the reason I call F strings kind of the newer way of doing this is because F strings came out in Python, I think it was 3.5 or 3.6, one of the two. Um, but oftentimes before then you would use format um, and do stuff like that to, to, to help format your strings. Um, and, and it didn't just do um, you know decimal points, you could do a lot of other formatting things as well. Uh, but F strings, what it allows you to do is I can do the same thing. If I say is print, and I'm just gonna do an F string straight away. And, uh, F, you, an F string, you always have to put the F in front of, front of your quotes and then you can say something like now I pass in this which allows me to insert a variable in and I can do um, num now the trick is like okay if I just do this and I run it well this doesn't give me much of a format now does it now that's because an f string what you can do is you can give it the syntax of a colon and then dot two and then if you run this you'll see oops i gotta say yeah um if you run this you'll see that it gives me now the 3.65 now just like i pointed out 
If you don't put it in the F, it you know you get this weird uh, three dot six four e to the plus one. Um, so make sure you put in the de the dot F right there. And but this is how you format an F string to round your number to do two decimal places. Now if I again go back here and I take off this and make it a four again, we should see that everything goes back to six four, um, and it doesn't round this portion up. But it says that hey, we just kind of like truncate the rest of that off um, since we're only going to two decimal places. But since we're rounding, uh, if we want to make sure, see if it rounds, you know, we can put in the five and yeah, we see that that's going to round that up to five and we only get the two decimal places that we want. So that is um, the first three methods that you can use. Now I want to talk about it. Now these all include using um, basically no package, but now I want to start in talking about how you can include the decimal package, which is a built-in Python package. So you don't need to install or pip install anything, but how can we use this package to essentially help us round a number? So let's start talking about that right now. So just like I mentioned, I've had this decimal import up here, sitting up here, and this is what I want to use. This is a built-in Python package that helps us basically get some decimal values um, and into like floating point precision stuff like I mean this is kind of like what I mean by that is essentially like this is going to give us the full floating point and not just say some um, rounded or truncated floating point which is often the case that, you, that you'll see but to use this let's kind of go and we'll, you have to do something like um, and I'm just gonna print this out so I say print and I say decimal and this is the package so then I have to say I want to use basically the class of um, decimal right now what this will do is help us give us a construct a new decimal object now we have to do is pass in our number so this could be an int a string a floating point whatever the case but if I run this again I have this floating point of 33.64599 right well, if I pass this in and make this kind of decimal and give it the full kind of decimal precision, uh, floating point precision, what's going to end up happening is if I print this out, you're going to see that it prints out this huge floating point number, right? And that's just because it's trying to get down to the floating point precision um, to give you the true kind of floating point of this number. Now, the thing is, is how do I take this number? So I've passed our, you know, what once was this, you know, six digit or five digit number and uh, or five digits after the decimal place. And I passed into this decimal one which gave me this even more precision, but how do I get that to round for us, right? Well, the trick that we gotta use is essentially going to use a function because if I do this, my IDE will pop up and show me all the different functions that I can do, right? If I start type, trying to type in round, I get this underscore underscore round, um, which is basically a hidden function, but there is something that is kind of works a little bit better, which is quantize. Now, the reason that this I think works better is because I can pass in a decimal object because what this is expecting down here what it says in the the documentation which is nice so when you're working with an ide sometimes you get the, the documentation or the doc string to kind of pop up what it's saying is is if i pass in, in their case a string in to a decimal object and i go to quantize it and i give it another decimal object of this format what it's going to do is it's going to take the number that they put in and format it to that number of decimal places so for instance we have 1.000 so that means they want three decimal places after or three places out or three places after decimal point point right so when they round it gives them the 1.14 rather than the rest of the number so in our case if we did the same thing so again i haven't in, um if i wanted to use this as a decimal by itself i'd have to import it differently but since we didn't we just imported this decimal the base decimal package um, we have to do something like decimal dot decimal and now we can give it what we want which in our case is going to be and i'm just going to use 0.00, .00. And if I run this, what you'll see, and I actually want to do this. I'm going to take this, print, and then if I run this, what you should see is we'll print out this, what we've had before. So method one, method two, method three, and then the first part of method four, right? So there's the full floating point. Now this should print out the same as the above formats, right? So if I run this, um, you'll see that I get 3.65. And you can tell that it's still rounding due to the fact that we had 64599, which if you round to two decimal places, you know from taking, you know, uh, math in, in school, that if it's, you know, wherever you're trying to round to, if you only want two, then you look at that, the number after it, after the second one, so the third one after the decimal point, and you say, hey, is it five or above? If it is, you usually round up. Um, now, just like that, that is the fourth and final method that I have to show you how you can round a number to two decimal places in Python. Again, we've covered the, essentially the traditional rounding function with two. Um, and then also we've given you the original formatting uh, variation to help format a string uh, or a number into string. And also I want to caveat this. I could, if I do this exact same thing, oops, control Z, if I do this. So before this was a, uh, 
At this point, it was a string, but now if I go in and I say, hey, convert our rounded one to a float, you should see that it prints out the exact, um, we get the exact same thing. It's now back to a float if you convert it to a float. So just like that, there's four different methods that you can use. Um, you might wanna check out my other video that I have that basically talks about um, how to round floats because there are some different rounding techniques um, that a while ago, I didn't know up until I you know, did some research for that video, but um, there are different rounding techniques that you can use with float. Traditionally, the one is basically the one that you learned in math where it's like hey if it's five or above round up but check out that video um and if you have any questions um leave them in the comments below and hit, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and until next time keep on programming keep